one more thing. You want to have less condensation? When you're pouring your agar cups, you want to pour your agar cups, stack them. The, usually the last one on top will have the most condensation. This is something that I learned from Michael, Michael Madness. Shout outs to my boy. Um, I want to put a, a hot ketchup cup. I mean, uh, yeah, ketchup cup with like hot water or something after you're done pouring them. And that way, all the majority of the condensation, actually the warmth of the cups actually rise all the way to the top. And the condensation is usually stuck on the one on top. Now, I tried something new this time. I didn't do that, but so I poured them. Um, I left them here. I left the flow hood running for like half an hour to an hour. Um, I have it on um, a timer. So I would have it like running for 15 minutes and will stop for five. And then another 15 minutes, stop for five, you know. Um, but these have been sitting here for a couple days. But if you see this there's actually just a little bit of condensation on the sides which honestly won't it's not a big deal um but if you see this look no condensation no condensation no condensation this is the important part right here because you don't want your condensation just dropping onto the agar so this will work as a window so you can see how the mycelium is growing. I haven't inoculated these. This is actually um, a tannin agar that I made up. Um, it's my own recipe. Um, it's things that I that other people use, like light malt extract. Um, I'll use a little bit of tannins. Um, some yeast booster, some Carl syrup, and a little bit of coffee. And... Um, I'm just trying it out. I'm just trying to figure out a recipe that I could stick with and not play around with like agar that much. I did play around with agar last year, learning what oatmeal agar and all of that. Um, and I learned a lot, trust me. You know, you get better at pouring these things. Um, I will come out with a video pouring agar on a steel air box because a lot of you guys don't have a flow hood. So I want to show you guys, even if there is videos out there, I want to show you guys that any amateur that's starting at this, I haven't, e I haven't been even going at this for a year, to be honest, and I've gotten good success. I don't have anything growing right now. Don't judge me because of that. I will show you results soon. Just give me time. I have to restart all, everything all over again. My mycelium, everything, everything. I was going everything, but it went bye-bye. Just like this video. Don't forget to smile.